Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Wola Kids channel. I hope you had a great week and are ready for our story time. I'm Auntie Jan, here to tell you another story about miracles. This time we're going to be talking about Prophet Elisha and the axe head. So sit back and listen to our story. It starts when the prophet Elisha, who we know, was a student of the prophet Elijah who was taken up to heaven by a whirlwind and a chariot of horses. So our prophet Elisha was now God's anointed prophet in Israel. So prophet Elisha used to talk to other prophets in Israel. And then one day he met with the prophets and the prophet said to him, prophet, the space where we meet with you is too small. Let us build another place close to the Jordan River that is bigger and has more space for us to meet and sit comfortably. So prophet Elisha agreed. Then they insisted that when they were building, he should go down to the river Jordan with them. So they went down together and they started chopping down trees to build their new place. So as they were chopping down the trees, one of the, one of the prophet's axe head became loose. And when it got loose, it flew into the air and fell into the river. Oh no, he cried, my axe! Oh, and he was so sad. This was a borrowed axe and metal axes are so, so expensive. He was worried because prophets didn't earn a lot of money in those times. So he didn't know how to replace it. Then prophet Elisha said to him, now, 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 calm down. Show me exactly where it fell in the water. So the prophet pointed. He said, right there. Right there. It fell right over there. I saw it. I saw it. I know it was there. It couldn't have been anywhere else. And then Prophet Elisha said, okay, all right, I got this. Then he got a stick and he threw it into the water. And we know, what does metal do when it gets into water? Metal sinks all the way down to the bottom. So the axe head sank all the way down to the bottom, which is why the prophet needed to point because the, the metal part wasn't floating. So when the prophet Elisha threw his stick into the water, can you guess what happened to the axe head? Anybody? Can you guess? Can you guess? Do you think that maybe the axe head um, started blowing bubbles to show people where it was? You know, like how people just blow bubbles when they're underwater. Or do you think the axe head floated? Floating? Hmm. The axe head actually floated. Ah, oh, how does metal float? Oh my goodness, that was so amazing. Then the prophet Elisha said, go ahead, lift it out. Take it out of the water. And the prophet went on and he lifted out the axe head and he put it back on his stick amazing stuff. Now, this could only have been a miracle, a miracle from God. Remember, when the prophet Elijah was taken up or before he was taken up, he asked Elisha, what would you have God do for you? Elisha said, I would like a double portion of God's grace upon my life. And the double portion he sure got. To make a metal float, those can only be the miracles of God. So boys and girls, be good children. Remember to say your prayers and talk to God always in prayer. Have a great time. Bye.